stuff. Um, we'll start with this gun since I've already got it. I'm gonna shoot, if you look, we have um, we have a yellow target, we have the orange target, which the yellow one from right here is probably like 50. Yeah, we'll just, I'll do something and then I'll just make sure I do it the same way for the other one. <laughs> yellow, red. I'm, I'm totally a professional. Yellow, red, yellow, red. Yellow, red, yellow. So, two on each as I'm going across and then I'll get in the prone over there, hit the two steals and then we'll time it and just see what it looks like. Okay, shoot ready. Yep. Stand by. One, two, nine, nine. Yeah. All right, so let's look at hits real quick. I've already ran back and swapped the uppers if that looks weird. Um, so these were good. No problem coming across. On this one, I shanked one into what would be like the C zone of the target. Um, that again is when you start moving that fucking, you start moving that optic across really quick. If you don't have like perfect scope shadow, your level of acceptability with that optic is gonna be a little bit less than like an LPVO where like it's designed for a one power with a little bit of off. Um, but well, again, I'll talk more about this whenever we get into the discussion. And then we were good on this target, so. This gun is super gassy, super loud, for no apparent reason. Shit ready. Yep. Stand by. Sorry. Impact. Impact. All right, let's look at this real quick. That was 11.97. A little bit slower than the other one. So here and here, so we're good on him. A little low, uh, cutting it close on this one. Still a little low. I'm in here. So need to practice holdover with a die. <laughs> but we're still good. So I'm gonna go swap the uppers real quick, and then we'll get back to it. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. Picked up one shot. Did you get the last one? 11.44. <laughs> All right, so you can tell that one probably looked a whole lot faster too. Um, let's see if the, uh, the proof's in the button. What you do, Coach? One, two. All good. God damn, look how tight these are. One, two. Okay, so um, up close, the argument's always been like anything with magnification, uh, you can't run it like a red dot because it's not a true one power or whatever. Um, I don't know, this optic's pretty close. Uh, the results will speak for themselves, especially up close, you know, it felt a lot smoother. I had a wider field of view than the red dot. I feel like with the red dot, um, especially like the micro red dots that we're using right now. I feel like you get sucked in to the tube itself and you're looking for trying to hunt for the dot. Whereas this huge field of view, you have like lines on the reticle that force your eye to where they need to be so you can still remain target focused with a bigger field of view. Um, so I didn't have a problem up close. Got in the prone very quickly engaged those targets because I have the added benefit of magnification. I flicked it up to two and a half, three, which is what the primary arms is so I wasn't getting an unfair advantage um, and yeah this thing's pretty much uh, you know the jack of all trades but for right now let's back up we're gonna shoot off this VTAC on some steel and that'll be like our 
uh, long range kind of awkward position engagement stuff and then we'll uh, we'll conclude with that all right so we came up top we have something that looks kind of like a VTEC barricade I'm gonna shoot off of um, the top the middle and then I'm gonna get low kind of cant sideways that way we can like go through how um, like getting behind the eye relief for certain optics kind of hinders you. We'll run it. Um, we'll run it at speed. So, do you have the timer running? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll run it with the timer. We'll give you guys the times, and then for the final drill, um, I'll go over that whenever we get to uh, we get through all the setups. So I'm dialed up to three. So just so you guys can see that I'm not cheating. I'm dialed to three. I will not dial past three. So, one, two, and then I'll get like low and weird here. I'll flat across. Okay. You ready? Yep. Stand by. So, just because I'm going to be honest about it, because um, <laughs> I don't want to not be honest about it, we had to move the camera so you guys can see me run it, but I'll keep both times so that way it's fair. Yeah, we'll just do it twice for everything. Shoot, you ready? Stand by. out back to the prism we're gonna run the same thing twice with the prism and then I'll go get the red eye Let me go get the upper for the other one. Right, so we're gonna do the final. We're still rocking the, uh, the red dot rifle. So I'm gonna shoot. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, so my final target is gonna be this tiny little orange one over here at about 110 yards. Um, it's obscured by some grass. To the right of that, on the first berm that's, uh, that you can see down there, there's a man-sized silhouette that's roughly like 225, 250. To the right of that, at like 175, is the uh, orange plate, which, like I said, 175. And then to the right of that is that maybe, I don't know, 75 to 100 yard piece of steel that we've been whacking for the last couple minutes. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go from long to short. So I'll start off, uh, I'll take knee, I'll engage the 300 yard steel or the 250 steel. I'll come back to the orange target and then I'll stand up off the barricade, shoot the 100 and then come over here, um, drop back down to the knee and engage the orange target from the knee. So let's see how we do. Ready? Two ready? Yep. Stand by.
2005. It's really hard to see that arm. Nope. Prism optic this time. Um, again, same course of fire. Start at the 300, work my way over to the uh, 100 orange plate. Didn't even stand up. To be honest, I like, like you'll probably be able to see it on the camera when I go back, but like, when I was aimed in, I was good on scope shadow until I came over and I was holding the same spot every one of those shots and then I pushed my head forward and then I hit it on that last one. So I must have had like scope shadow and I just wasn't seeing it. I don't, I don't know. But that was, that was way rougher than it should have been. Oh, that was 39.34. I don't know if I said that. 39.34. Yeah, I don't know if I said that. Twice as much as the Yeah. Just because of a little bit of a head shake. That's fucking embarrassing. Okay. So we're on three power with the LPVO. That way we're not getting any advantages. Um, I'm going to try this time. Then I get flustered. And I'm going to make sure I stand up. That way we're still uh, concentric with our times. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Stand by. I'll stand up on this one. Thirteen eighty eight. Which which was faster? I think our red dot was a little eleven eleven. Was it? Yeah. We'll have to go back and that might have been for one of the ones where it was like this thing. We'll have to go back and check. But anyway, um, so next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys um, a view of the deepest target that we have out here, which is roughly 7, 720, right? Yeah. Um, the deepest target at 720. Uh, I'm then going to give you a view through each of the optics, or at least try to give you a view through each of them. And that way you guys can see what looking at someone for either observation purpose or just to engage them would look like at 700 um, through each of the setups. Okay. 